Good morning, boys and girls. What we're going to be learning today in writing is people collect things and write opinions about their collections. So what we want to do first is go over some vocabulary. We have opinions. It's something that you think. We can start our opinion sentence with, I think, I like, I think this is the best, or I think this is the worst. For today's lesson, we're going to concentrate on using I think and the best. Another vocabulary word is persuade, to try to make someone think something else. Another vocabulary word for today's lesson is collection. A collection is when you have a group of the same things. Favorite books, favorite pens, TV shows, stickers, Pokemon cards. So what I have here is a collection of fruit, a collection of teddy bears, and a collection of leaves. You're probably thinking at home of some collections you might have. Maybe you have some Pokemon cards, some stickers. A collection is, the group of, is a group of the same things. Now, what we have today is a collection of cats. Some of you might have done this already, but this lesson is a review, which means it's going to get us ready for future lessons. When we have an opinion on something, we want to judge fairly. So take a look at these cats. I want first to show you this chart to judge fairly. When we're looking at a collection of something, we have to do three things. Number one, we have to put everything in a line or we just put everything in a group so that way we can judge it and look at it. Number two, we have to compare the same thing on each. Which has the best? So here we have which has the best wheels. But for cats, we can say, which cat has the best nose? Which cat has the best ears? Which cat has the best color fur? Number three, we have to decide which is the best and give reasons. Most importantly, we have to say the word because. So we have to decide which cat is the best and we have to give reasons why we think which cat is the best. So let's go back to our collection of cats. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to take a look at these collections of cats. You can either think by yourself which cat you like the best, you can talk to someone at home, brother, sister, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, but right now all you're going to do is look at these five pictures and tell me which cat you think is the best. Ready? Go ahead, start thinking. Which cat is the best? Okay, time's up. Do you have a favorite cat? If you don't have a favorite cat yet, that is okay. Just take a little bit more time and figure out which cat you like the best. You can pause the video until you find out which cat you like the best. So now, we have three different opinions. We have our first opinion. I think number five is the best. That's right up here. We have our second opinion. I think number five is the best because he is wearing a Santa hat and he is gray. Let's go back. Oh, here's number five. He's wearing a Santa hat and he is the color gray. Let's look at the third opinion. I think number five is the best because he is wearing a Santa hat and I love Christmas. Another reason why I think number five is the best is because he is gray and white. Gray is the color of elephants and they are my favorite animal. This is why I think number five is the best cat. So we have three different opinions, one, two, and three. I also have a thumbs up, a thumbs in the middle, and a thumbs down. You're gonna take another 30 seconds and you're going to think to yourself or talk to someone at home, which opinion do you think gets a thumbs up? Which opinion do you think gets a thumbs, that, thumbs in the middle? And which opinion do you think gets a thumbs down? Go ahead, what do you think?
Okay, time's up. Now, let's go to the next slide. Here's our three opinions again, with a thumbs down, a thumbs in the middle, and a thumbs up. The first one says, I think number five is the best. That one got a thumbs down. Do you know why it got a thumbs down? It's because there are no reasons. They only have, I think, number five is the best. Why? Why do you think it's the best? That's why you get the thumbs down. Let's look at the second one. It says, I think number five is the best because he is wearing a Santa hat and he is gray and white. That one is good, and I gave it a thumbs in the middle. Do you know why it only gets a thumbs in the middle? It, got, it gets a thumbs in the middle because it is a good opinion. It gives me two reasons. I think number five is the best because he is wearing a Santa hat. That's one reason. And he is gray and white. That's a second reason. But I think we could still do better. That's why the third opinion gets a thumbs up. It gives me two reasons, and it tells me why those reasons, uses those reasons to say why that's the best cat. I think number five is the best because he is wearing a Santa hat, and I love Christmas. Another reason why I think number five is the best because he is gray and white. Gray is the color of elephants, and they are my favorite animal. This is why I think number five is the best cat. It gets the thumbs up because it starts with I think, it uses because, it tells me why he likes the hat, why he likes the cat, he's wearing a Santa hat because he loves Christmas. He gives me more details. Then he starts with another reason why they think number five is the best, because he is gray. And gray is the color of elephants, which is their favorite animal. Then he ends with this is why I think number five is the best cat. Ding, ding, ding. This is the Thumbs up opinion. This is what I want you to try to do. Now, it's your turn. Your assignment for today is to tell me which cat you like the best and draw a picture. How do we start our opinion? Here's our sentence starter. I think number is the best because. So what you're going to do, you're going to think which number is the best. Number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Remember, earlier we took 30 seconds to think which cat we thought was the best cat. If you're still having trouble, you can pause the video on this slide and you can decide which cat is the best. Let's go back. Here is our assignment. Again, I think number, you'll fill in the, which number cat you like the best is the best because. When you go back, here are your models. One, two, and three. When you're writing, I want you to try to aim for the thumbs up opinion. That's what opinion writers want to aim for. Remember, please write this on a piece of paper. You can use your notebook at home. I know a lot of you brought home a homework notebook, maybe some other notebooks. You're going to write down your opinion, just like how we do it in writing in school. You're going to take a picture of it and upload it to Class Dojo. This is very important. Make sure you use your student account. You don't want to submit assignments under your parents' account. You want to use your student account. If you're having trouble, please message your teacher and let them know. So this is your assignment for today. I'm going to go to the next slide so that way you can look at all the cats and write down your opinion which one you think is the best. Good job, boys and girls. Happy writing.